In this video, I'm going to show you how to change a plain white socket fascia for a nice new polished brass socket fascia. Um, it just so happens that there's an odd one here and the customer has requested that I put this one on so it matches the rest. So it's a short video just to show you how to do it in a safe manner. And before I actually continue, I'd just like to point out that this circuit that I'm actually working on, I have properly isolated it so I do know the circuit is actually dead and safe for me to work on. First things first, what we're going to do is undo these two retaining screws, which are either side of the socket. Remove both of these screws all the way out. Gently pull the socket fascia away from the wall. Okay, and you have your three conductors, you have a live, a neutral, and an earth. So I shall undo the live first, then the neutral, then the earth. Then what we'll do is we'll get our, our nice new shiny socket. Careful, we don't scratch the front of it. And then what I'll do is just loosen off the, uh, the termination points, just so I can get the cable in. And make sure that you actually get the right conductor in the right um, connection point. They have actually got um, L for live, N for neutral, and the earth there. But it's worth double checking because sometimes different manufacturers put these termination points the other way around so it's always always best to double check so I shall put the live in first make sure it's held in place do the screw up don't over tighten it because we don't want to break the conductor by over tightening it too much then we're putting in the neutral Come bit in position, do the conductor up, the screw up, sorry, just give it a tug, make sure it's okay, get the earth cable in, tighten that up, again just give them all a quick tug, just to make sure that they're nice and secure, bend back the cable, Get it in position. Get the, the correct screws. As I said, these are brass. You want to make sure you get the right corresponding screws. Let's put that one in there first. Let's just bite it to get it in position. Get the second screw. Sometimes when you've got a metal faceplate, it's always best to put your finger nearby to stop the screwdriver slipping out because you don't want a nice big scratch mark going across the front of the faceplate, which I have seen on several occasions. So, just do each one up bit by bit. Make sure that the face plate goes back nice and smoothly. Make sure it's straight on the wall. Don't over tighten it because you'll put a little dent in the actual face plate where the screw holes are. But tighten it up enough so it doesn't actually move. I'll give it a little wiggle. There you go, that's one faceplate change from a plain white to a nice shiny polished brass.